One of the real benefits that the class chart software has is the artificial intelligence that it carries. If every member of staff inputs the behaviour incidents via the seating plan, class charts knows where the students are sat and who they're sat next to. And the more and more information it gathers, the more intelligence it becomes. So what we're able to do is to make informed choices and intelligent choices about where we seat the students based on behaviours that they've been logged against them, not only in your class, but also around the school. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to click on the Influences tab here at the top of your class chart. Once that is clicked, what it lets you do is to click on any student and find out currently where they're sat and who they're sat next to, what kind of positive or negative influences these students have amongst each other. So if I click on Simon here on the right hand side, it shows me straight away that he sat next to two students in red who have a negative influence either upon him or he has a negative influence on them. And that's not what I want. Greens are a, 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 a good or no negative relationships and yellow are not significant. So I might decide this isn't going to be good and I, and I want to change that round. Similarly I can click on any of the students and I can see if where they're sat is a good position or if it's not. And I can just do that by clicking around and seeing what kind of influences these students have on each other. What I might decide to do is because of this situation here with Simon, I might decide I want to optimize my seating plan. Historically, if this was on pen and paper, this would take hours and hours of you know looking at this and, and working out exactly who's going to go where and then suddenly you move someone and then that doesn't fit with somebody else. So what the system can do is it can optimize the seating plan. You can click this button here to optimize it immediately. Or if you would like some more uh, details uh, and some more kind of control about how you do that, if you just click cancel here and head over to rearrange pupils and click on the first option there, it lets you decide how you'd like to rearrange your seating plan. You can rearrange it boys and girls, behavior score, pupil interaction, free school meals, etc. etc. In this case, what I want to do is I want to look at the pupil interaction and I want to optimize it for interactions. All I do is once I've done that, click on optimize my seating chart, and then in front of me, that will now optimize it based on the, the, the most positive interactions that the system can give me. I may also want to decide that uh, I want to rearrange my pupils via behavior score. And I can do this in one of two ways. I can potentially cluster similar behaviors together. So I might want to have a group where you know all of the kids who are getting behavior points for me are sat together, and that might be right at the front you know, on one on one group table right in front of me. But I might decide that's not what I want. And I actually want to disperse students with similar behavior records. So I try and mix it up across the classroom. And again, all I do is optimize my seating chart once I've selected it. And you know, there we go, they're now dispersed around the classroom. So lots of ways for you to be um, in control of the seating plan, to make changes very, very quickly, and um, to really optimize, you know, your seating plan for you know for the very best learning environment that you can give your students in the classroom.